Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking you through the process of replacing the rear shock absorber on the 2009 or P3 generation Volvo S80. Now it's going to be slightly different for um, a V70, XC70, etc. Uh, the actual process is the same but um the parts are slightly different now for those of you that didn't already know i've already actually fitted the shock absorber so this is going to be a talk through rather than a demonstration but um you'll be able to see pretty easily um how it's done so the first thing you need to do is jack the car up and remove the rear wheel now what this does is it gives you full access to everything that you need um the parts that you need is a 10 mil socket and I believe it's either an 18 or 21 mil socket. So just have a nice little socket set available. Um, get a torque wrench ready as well if you've got one, um, or just be ready uh, with the guns to tighten it up. So um, let's get straight into it. So once you've removed the wheel, there are two bolts that are at the top of the shock absorber. You can just see one here, and then the other is the other side. And now the good thing with these shock absorbers is that the new top mount is actually included with the part. I'll just see if we can uh, get any closer. So um, yeah, dead easy. Those those will make basically make it so you can pull the shock absorber down. Now there's one more bolt um, to release underneath. Uh, I'll just get on my knees for you. Now, this was the hardest one. Um, now I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's just, just here, uh, just the other side of the cross member. That was the hardest bolt to undo, but actually, um, it is extremely long. I'll see if I can get this like, there you go, that's better. That's a better view of it. Um, as you can see, it's quite a chunky thing and it was, yeah, very stuck. I had to use, um... An impact driver in the end to remove it now depends what you can do obviously is prep the bolt beforehand and with a wd-40 or penetrating grease or something like that to um just sort of soften the the rust and stuff up but um yeah it's certainly not the easiest thing to remove but literally that's it guys what will happen then is the shock absorber will slide down and out um and then you'll be able to replace the new one in order to replace it all you do get that bottom bolt back in don't completely tighten it line line up the top uh there'll be, there'll be like a little cord as well um which you should still be able to see here on mine if i just bump up the exposure so you can see into here this bit of plastic here that's just a bit of the strap um, that comes that holds the shock absorber down now it is yeah like i said dead easy um just need to release then the shock absorber and replace the two bolts in the top now i really want to get this as tight as you can i think the official is 140 newton meters on that bottom bolt but um basically as tight as you can is all you need then of course you just replace the wheel um, or put it back on, lower the car down, and you are completely done. Now, what you'll find is that the car may sit slightly higher if you're doing just the one shock absorber. Mine started to level out now um, after about 500 miles, um, and it will do. And that is it. It's really, really easy uh, to actually replace. I think Volvo designed it in that way because sometimes you can find that the shock absorber is part centralized in the spring um and that becomes a nightmare whereas with this absolutely dead easy so um yeah it's just a quick little intro or a quick little explanation on how to do it now i'm gonna get back in the car get the aircon on because it's absolutely roasting the car when i got in earlier said it was 40 degrees uh, which is not but it is very hot indeed now for those of you who don't know um the sensor for the um ambient temperature is located in this driver's side mirror here um obviously it's a dark color and that's why it thinks it's a lot hotter than it is but um this black leather whew, beware because it is very hot there we go saying 38 degrees um it is probably 30 i would say um because it is absolutely roasting but um oh that's better nice bit of air con 
So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.